You are teacher today is Dr. Bosa David. Dr. Bosa is the daily teacher, Science Foundation College, the best school in the sciences. Today we are going to study the dissection of a rat. Skills to be tested include carrying out instruction for dissection. In every dissection question, their instruction is supposed to follow, and you are required for this instruction is carefully display the required organ, draw the required organ, and then label. If you don't follow the instruction to the details, you probably don't answer the question properly. So, follow the instruction step by step, and this is the required organism. Two, we may be required to perform simple physiological experiments, recording, and then interpret the results. For example, we may be required to test the action of a certain enzyme from a certain part of the body. For example, in the liver, we may be required to test for presence of catalase in the stomach to test for the function of pepsin, in the denim to test for the function of triposin and amylase. General requirements. Before attempting to answer any question, make sure you have understood the question. Any answer that does not answer the question leads to loss of marks. Marks are given for proper interpretation of the question. Two, even if you know the system required and you know the theoretical diagram, please call out the, the instruction and draw the original diagram. Drawings. Remember that examiners mark drawing but not your dissection. Ensure that your drawing is the correct representation of your dissection. A drawing should have a title, a drawing should have a magnification. A magnification is the number of times a drawing is as big as the specimen. You should draw your diagram in a pencil. Avoid labbing. If you are to lab, the lab marks should not be seen. Otherwise, your diagram is not going to be neat. You should have a white lab. Drawing should have a complete outline. Broken line is are not acceptable. Parts should be drawn to relative sizes. A big part should be drawn as a big part. A smaller part should be drawn as a smaller part. For instance, when you draw this one as the head of the man and you put these eyes, then these eyes are out of proportion. They are too big. Proportional eyes should be drawn like this. Avoid ambiguities. If one structure passes and another, draw it clear. Otherwise, they may be assumed to cross. Good diagrams are achieved by continuous practice. Practice all the diagrams in this dissection guide. Classification. Note that when setting the taxa, spellings are very important. No one is going to mark a wrong spellings. So practice correct spellings. When giving reasons to justify the taxa, then use only those that are observable. External features. For instance, 
when you are classifying a rat as a mammal, then you talk about the penis, which we can see, talk about the hair, talk about the back bone, talk about the mammary glands, talk about, eh? don't talk about things we don't see. Kingdom. The kingdom of a rat is the kingdom and Maria. Justification. What shows that a rat is an animal? It has got a mouth for ototrophic nutrition. From the mouth you can know that this rat does not manufacture its own food. It is smart cellular. This distinguishes it from unicellular organisms such as amoeba. It has good limbs for locomotion. This distinguishes it from fungi. Fungi are heterotrophic, but fungi don't move from one place to another. Phylum codata. Characteristics. It has got a back bone. Animal in phylum codata have got a back bone. It is bilateral symmetrical, we can cut it into a half only once. It has got a brain case. As animals in the phyla, quadata include fish, for example, tilapia, amphibians, for example, frog, reptile, for example, snake. Bad, for example, ostrich. Class, the class of a rat is a class mammalia. Characteristics of animals in the class mammalia include the body is covered with fur, it has good external ear lobes or pinna. We can distinguish a male rat from a female rat from external genital system. For instance, a female rat has got a vaginal opening and tits. External features. Before we describe the external features of a rat, Let's look at terms used to describe the topograph of an animal. Dorsal is back side. Ventral, front side is the ventral side. Then the back side. Anterior, head side. Posterior, hind side. Then lateral on the sides, this is the lateral side of my head. This is the ventral side, the dorsal side, the anterior side, the posterior side. Identify the sex of a rat. This depends whether you are dealing with a male rat or a female rat. Let's start with a female rat and then deal with a male rat later. A female rat has got its oral nipples leading to mammary glands. A female rat has got vaginal opening. Let us draw structures that are used to identify a female rat. A drawing of the structures used to identify a female Rat. We label nipples, we label opening for the vagina. Thermos like a vagina, mammary glands are not correct because we don't, we don't see vagina, we see a vagina opening. We don't see mammary glands, we see teeth leading to mammary glands. When identify a male rat, a male rat has got a peripus covering 
the penis it has got a scrotal sac or scrotum covering the testes let us draw structures that are used to identify a rat. a drawing of structures used to identify a rat. we label perepus we label scrotal sac terms like sac sac tests are wrong because these are wrong spellings and you said you are not going to entertain wrong spellings the head shape it is peer shaped the head of a rat is peer shaped adaptation of the shape of the head it gives the animal a streamlined shape for easy movement structures on the head we have the eyes with eyelids the whiskers the ears the nostril and the mouth the ear location it is dorsal lateral located on the head i.e. it is between the junction between the dorsal and the lateral side to enable it to collect sound waves structures of the air it is less hairy to increase heat loss it is broad and funnel shaped to collect sound waves the whiskers structure they are long stiff hairs location on the lateral side of the head function therefore sensitivity adaptation of the whiskers to their function they are long to sense distant obstacles they are stiff to stop them from breaking the eyes Location, they are dorsolaterally located on the head at the junction between the dorsal and the lateral side. This provides a large angle of vision or a wide field of view. The nostril structure, they are comma shaped holes for letting in and out air. Location of the nostril, they are on anterior end or the head for detecting smell and direction of food and also to discriminate between good food and bad food. The nose is located near the mouth to enable you to discriminate between bad food and good food before you start eating it. The mouth location, it is ventral and anterior on the head. Adaptation of the mouth for its function, it has good teeth for biting food, tongue for tasting food, it has good saliva for softening food. Sometimes the question requires you to study the limbs. Note that at the same magnification, the behind limb is longer than the fore limb. The hind limb has got five digits. The fore limb has got four digits. A drawing of the hind and the fore limb to the same magnification. This question requires you to draw the limbs to the same magnification. If you draw the fore limb at the magnification of two, you draw the hind limb at the magnification of two you note that the hind limb is longer than the fore limb the hind limb has got five digits the fore limb has got four digits differences between the fore and the hind limbs the fore limb is short and stout to absorb shock when the rat is running 
the hind limb is long to provide propulsion force. The hind limb is longer to provide a propulsion force. The hind limb has got a big foot for stability. Sometimes you are required to draw the vendor side of the fore limb. Then you label cross digital parts into digital parts and then palm parts. These are palm parts into digital parts into digital parts. The parts between the digits, then you will see that each limb has got a part. Make sure the four limb has got four digits. A drawing of the hind foot, you label cross digital pads into digital pads and then sole pads. Note that the hind foot has got five digits. What are the functions of the foot? One, borrowing, making barrels. Two, locomotion. Three, defense. So how is it adapted to all those functions? Has cross for burrowing, for grabbing food, and for scratching the enemy. The toys are spread for stability. The soft pad increases friction during movement so that it doesn't slide and doesn't make sound when it is moving otherwise it will be heard by the predator and the prey and they come for it or run away from it Structures for defense. The question may require that you give structures for defense and also you give the adaptation for the structures to their functions. So the first structure is teeth for biting the enemy. Adaptation, they are sharp and strong. Cross for scratching the enemy. Adaptation. They are sharp and strong. They don't break easily. Tail to beat the enemy. Adaptation is, is long to reach the whole body. It's muscular to inflict pain. Structures of the tail it is scary to reduce water loss. It is less hairy to increase heat loss. It is long for stability. It is muscular to beat the enemy. Sometimes you are required to give adaptations of a rat to its ecology. This is the simplest question. Anything that enables the rat to live a successful life can be given as an adaptation to its ecology. It has good teeth for biting the enemy. It has good nostrils for letting in air and outside air. It has good pinna for hearing. It has good hair to reduce heat loss. It has good legs for locomotion. It has got a tail for beating the enemy and also for stability. It has got claws for digging barrels. A rat has got whiskers for sensitivity. It has got a mouth for eating. It has got an excitating membrane or eyelid 
for removing for any particles from the eye. Anything that enables a rat to live a successful life can be given as an adaptation to its ecology. Internal structures of a rat. Note that the rat is dissected upside down. In this position, your right is its left. Your left is its right. Two, during the marking, teach a mark diagram, not the sections. Therefore, spend enough time and do as accurate diagram as possible. We are going to dissect a rat based on common examination equation to give you an idea how the exam is likely to be. Question 1. Remove the skin from this specimen to expose the glands and the muscles on the ventral side of the neck and chest region and draw. In the neck region, we see infraorbital lacrimal gland, parotid gland, lymph nodes, and submaxillary glands. Latissimus dorsi muscle, deltoid muscle, pectoralis major muscle, pectoralis minor muscle, and in the costal muscles a drawing of glands muscles structures in the neck and chest region we label infraorbital lacrimal glands we label lymph nodes submaxillary glands parotid gland deltoid muscle Latissimus dos muscle, pectoralis major muscle, pectoralis minor muscle, intercostal muscles. Question 2. Open abdomen, expose and draw visual structures in undisturbed form. You open abdomen like this.
expose liver lobe stomach spleen sikam urinary bladder in the mirror you can also see seminal vesicle prostate gland that are not in the female rat then the small intestine a drawing of abdominal structures in undisturbed form of a male rat we label liver lobe stomach spleen cecum colon seminal vesicle coagulating glands pancreas small intestines urinary bladder and prostate gland then we put a magnification make sure that your diagram has got a complete outline in the female the additional structures include vagina and uterus these are lacking in the male rat a drawing of abdominal structures of a female rat in undisturbed form we label liver stomach duodenum spleen cecum ovary uterus bladder small intestines and vagina Question three: Expose blood vessels that drain the digestive system and draw. Blood vessels that drain the body and veins. So the question may be rephrased as: Expose the veins of the digestive system and draw. To see blood vessels that drain the digestive system we put the intestines to the right blood vessels that drain the digestive system include hepatic portal vein hepatic vein tributaries of hepatic portal vein from the intestines a branch of hepatic portal vein from the rectum a drawing of blood vessels that drain the digestive system. We label liver lobe, oesophagus, stomach, area, tributaries of hepatic portal vein, colon, cecum, rectum, appendix, pancreas, duodenum hepatic portal vein from the rectum. Question 4. Expose blood vessels that supply the digestive system and draw. Blood vessels that supply the body are the arteries. So we can say the seek to expose arteries to the digestive system. To see arteries that supply the intestines, we put the intestines to the left or to the right of the animal. Posterior mesotric artery supplies the rectum. Anterior mesotric artery supplies the intestines. Coeliac artery supplies the liver, stomach, and the pancreas. Let us draw and label. A drawing of blood vessels that supply 
the digestive system we label coeliac artery divides into gastric artery and hepatic artery the anterior mesenteric artery makes tributaries to the intestines the posterior mesenteric artery supplies the rectum labeling parts of the digestive system is necessary to show the relationship between the arteries and the digestive system Responsible for digestion, strip of any unnecessary tissue to expose your endogenital system. Carefully observe and make a variable. It depends whether we are dealing with a male rat or a female rat. Let's start with a male rat. The general system of amelorate include kidney, 
Yoleta Vesicular seminaries Coagulating gland Vas differenes Prostate gland Unare bladder Kudep didimis Testis And Capt epididimis A drawing of urino genital system of a male rat. A drawing of urino genital system of a male rat. We label kidding ureter, vestibular seminaries, <coughs> coagulating glands, prostate glands, caudo epididimis, tests. Vas differens, bladder, penis, peripetual glands. Then we put a magnification. Make sure that your diagram is in it. As you got a title, is well labeled and it is in it. Female urino genital system include kidney, urinary bladder, ovary, oviduct, or fallopian tube, uterus, and vagina. A drawing of urino genital system of a female rat. We label kidney, ovary. Uterus, vagina, preptual gland, ureter, bladder, clitoris, and vaginal opening. Then we put a magnification. Make sure your diagram has got a complete outline and is neat. Structures exclusive for urination, they are same in the male and female rat. They include kidney, ureter, and blood. Structures exclusive for reproduction in the female include ovary, fallopian tube, uterus, and vagina. Structures exclusive for reproduction include tests, vas differens, prostate glands, vestibular seminaries, and coagulating glands. Question 6 Expose blood vessels that drain the left kidney and left limb and draw. These include left kidney, left renal vein, posterior vena cava, left common iliac vein, left visco vein, left intern iliac vein, <coughs> podendo vein, left femoral vein and left epigastric vein. A drawing of blood vessels that drain the left kidney and the left hind limb. We label left kidney, left renal vein, posterior vena cava, left common iliac vein, left External iliac vein, left femoral vein, 
left epigastric vein, left visco vein, left internal iliac vein, and left pudendal vein. The prefix left is necessary because there are similar veins on the right side of the animal. The rainbow cage is, is tubular and rigid. Adaptation of the rainbow cage, its function. The rainbow cage is tubular to provide the room for the heart and the lungs. The rainbow cage is rigid to protect the heart and the lungs. The diaphragm. The diaphragm is circular and dome shaped with a central tendon and peripheral muscular portion. Adaptation is of the, the diaphragm to its function. It is muscular to prevent the entry of the liver and intestine into the thoracic cavity. Contraction of the diaphragm increases the volume of the thoracic cavity allowing air to enter. Relaxation of the diaphragm reduces the volume in the thoracic cavity, pushing air out of the lungs. Question 7. Cut along the lower edges to remove the rib cage to expose the glands, organs, blood vessels and the nerves in this region. Draw your dissection. Chest region we find trachea, thermos gland, heart, lungs, posterior vena cover, and osophagus. A drawing of visceral structures of the chest region in the undisturbed form. Table, thermos gland, left ventricle, left lung. Right atrium, right lung, posterior vena cava, and diaphragm. Question 8. Expose blood vessels and structures in the neck and chest region. Remove the thermos gland but leave the heart and displaced and draw. The structures include trachea, left anterior vena cava, aortic arch, pulmonary artery, left ventricle, left lung, aorta, posterior vena cava, right anterior vena cava, right atrium, lobes of right lung. Let us draw and label.
color, the pink or red structure, the sponge like sponge like relating the color and structure of the lung to their function. The lungs are sponge like because they contain numerous numerous air sacs that increase surface area for gaseous exchange. The lung is red because it is well supplied with bloody capillaries that bring the oxygenated blood and color oxygenated blood to the body, which maintains the fusion gradient for gaseous exchange. The trachea, it is cylindrical tube with a rigid cartilaginous ring with, with intervals of non cartilaginous rings. Adaptation of the trachea to its function, it has rigid cartilages to prevent it from collapsing at low pressure. Stubula to allow in air. The trachea has good intervals of non cartilaginous ring for flexibility. Question 8 Carefully remove the heart from the chest cavity by first lecturing the major blood vessels to and from the heart draw and label the ventral view Structure of the heart. The walls of the left ventricle are thicker than the right ventricle because the left ventricle pushes blood to a longer distance throughout the body, whereas the right, the right ventricle pushes blood a shorter distance to the lungs.